Seward's Day. Seward's Day, which falls on the last Monday in March each year, is named for the Secretary of State William H. Seward, who was responsible for the purchase in the first place. This legal holiday in Alaska commemorates the day of the Alaska Purchase Treaty was signed. This day shouldn't be confused with National Alaska Day, however, which marks the formal transfer of control of Alaska from Russia to the US. A long, long time ago, around the 18th century, Alaska was owned by the Russians. Then came the Crimean War. Fight for the rights of Christian minorities in the Holy Land, a part of the Ottoman Empire, Russia fought against the alliance of France, the Ottoman Empire, the United Kingdom and Sardinia and lost. Reeling from this, Russian Tsar Alexander II started exploring options to raise money for the country. He turned his gaze towards Alaska. Not only had the sea otter population vastly declined, but Alaska would also prove to be very difficult to defend in the event of a future war, especially since the British forces were based out of neighboring Canada. The Russians discussed this plan and were all for selling to the US by 1857 in the hopes that their presence would deter the British from any attacks. Negotiations began, however, the American Civil War took precedence at this time and any plans for buying Alaska were put on hold. Following the Union win, Tsar Alexander asked for another round of negotiations. The US Secretary of State William Seward negotiated with Russian Minister Eduard de Stuckel. They agreed to a treaty on March 13, 1867, which was ratified by the US Senate. At the time, they paid $7.2 million, or about two cents per acre. They called this place Alaska, changing it from the Russian name Alaska. Most Russian citizens went home, bearing a few, traders and priests mostly, who chose to remain. They would eventually leave Alaska too, as records indicate. The reactions to this purchase was largely positive, with people believing the added position would create a base to expand trade in Asia. Seward's political oppositions coined the phrase Seward's Folly or Seward's Icebox, referring to Alaska as useless land. Alaska would remain sparsely populated until the Klondike Gold Rush of 1896, when the region came to be seen as a truly valuable addition to the US territory. Today, Alaska stands as the US's 49th largest territory and is a booming tourist spot.